A legend, Latin, legenda, things to be read, is a narrative of human actions, that are perceived both by teller and listeners, to take place within human history and to possess certain qualities, that give the tale very similitude. Legend, for its active and passive participants includes no happenings, that are outside the realm of possibility, defined by a highly flexible set of parameters, which may include miracles that are perceived as actually having happened, within the specific tradition of indoctrination, where the legend arises, and within which it may be transformed over time, in order to keep it fresh and vital, and realistic. A majority of legends operate within the realm of uncertainty, never being entirely believed by the participants, but also never being resolutely doubted. The Brothers Grimm defined legend as folktale historically grounded. A modern folklorist's professional definition of legend was proposed by Timothy R. Tanghulini in 1990. Legend, typically, is a short, mono-episodic, traditional, highly ecotypified historicized narrative performed in a conversational mode, reflecting on a psychological level a symbolic representation of folk belief and collective experiences, and serving as a reaffirmation of commonly held values of the group to whose tradition it belongs. Etymology and Origin Legend is a loanword from Old French, that entered English usage circa 1340. The Old French noun legend derives from the medieval Latin legenda. In its earliest English language usage, the word indicated a narrative of an event. In 1613, English-speaking Protestants began to use the word, when they wished to imply that an event, especially the story of any sin not acknowledged in John Fox's Acts and Monuments, was fictitious. Thus, legend gained its modern connotations of undocumented and spurious, which distinguish it from the meaning of chronicle. In 1866, Jacob Grimm described the fairy tale as poetic, legend, historic. Early scholars such as Carol Wohan, D., Friedrich Rank, D., and Will Erich Puckett followed Grimm's example, in focusing solely on the literary narrative, an approach that was enriched particularly after the 1960s, by addressing questions of performance and the anthropological and psychological insights, provided in considering legends. Social Context questions of categorizing legends, in hopes of compiling a content-based series of categories on the line of the Arne Thompson Folktale Index, provoked a search for a broader new synthesis. In an early attempt at defining some basic questions operative in examining folk tales, Friedrich Rank, D., in 1925 characterized the folk legend as a popular narrative with an objectively untrue imaginary content a dismissive position, that was subsequently largely abandoned. Compared to the highly structured folktale, legend is comparatively amorphous, Helmut de Boer noted in 1928. The narrative content of legend is in realistic mode, rather than the wry irony of folktale, Wilhelm Hisk remarked on the similarity of motifs in legend and folktale and concluded that, in spite of its realistic mode, legend is not more historical than folktale. An early tongue in der Geschichte Swiss Kraft, 1928, Ernst Bernheim asserted that a legend is simply a long standing rumor. Gordon Allport credited the staying power of some rumors to the persistent cultural state of mind that they embody and capsulize, thus, urban legends are a feature of rumor. When William Jansen suggested that legends that disappear quickly were short term legends and the persistent ones be termed long term legends, the distinction between legend and rumor was effectively obliterated, Tang Hulini concluded. The word legendary was originally a noun, introduced in the 1510s, meaning a collection or corpus of legends. This word changed to legendary, and legendary became the adjectival form of legend. Christian legenda. Legendary material in Christian hagiography. In the narrow Christian sense, legenda, things to be read, on a certain day, in church, were hagiographical accounts, often collected in a legendary. Because since lives are often included many miracle stories, legend in a wider sense, came to refer to any story, that is set in a historical context, but that contains supernatural or fantastic element. Related Concepts Legends are tales that, because of the tie to a historical event or location, are believable, though not necessarily believed. For the purpose of the study of legends, in the academic discipline of folkloristics, the truth value of legends is irrelevant because, whether the story told, is true or not, the fact that the story is being told at all allows scholars, to use it as commentary upon the cultures that produce, or circulate the legends. 
Hippolyte Delahaye, and his preface to The Legends of the Sins, an introduction to hagiography, 1907, distinguished legend from myth, the legend, on the other hand, has, of necessity, some historical or topographical connection. It refers imaginary events to some real personage, or it localizes romantic stories in some definite spot. From the moment a legend is retold as fiction its authentic legendary qualities begin to fade and recede. In the legend of Sleepy Hollow, Washington Irving transformed a local Hudson River Valley legend into a literary anecdote with gothic overtones, which actually tended to diminish its character as genuine legend. Stories that exceed the boundaries of realism are called fables. For example, the talking animal formula of Aesop identifies his brief stories as fables, not legends. The parable of the prodigal son would be a legend, if it were told as having actually happened to a specific son of a historical father. If it included an ass that gave sage advice to the prodigal son it would be a fable. Legend may be transmitted orally, passed on person to person, or, in the original sense, through written text. Jacob B. Origins Legenda Ori or the Golden Legend comprises a series of viti or instructive biographical narratives, tied to the liturgical calendar of the Roman Catholic Church. They are presented as lives of the saints, but the profusion of miraculous happenings, and above all their uncritical context are characteristics of hagiography. The legenda was intended to inspire extemporized homilies and sermons appropriate to the saint of the day. Legends in Folklore Legends are used as a source of folklore, providing historical information regarding the culture and views of a specific legend's native civilization. The Vanishing Hitchhiker is the most popular and well-known American legend. The traditional tale type involves a young girl in a white dress, picked up alongside of the road by a passerby. The unknown girl in white remains silent for the duration of her ride, thanks the driver, and quietly gets out at her destination. When the driver turns to look back, the girl has vanished. Often there a third character is included at the destination, to add further suspicion to the girl's existence, by informing the driver, that they haven't seen anyone all night. The vanishing hitchhiker and stories like it, display the fears and anxieties, that a particular social group has. For example, the hitchhiking tale speaks to America's fascination with the road, and also the anxieties that are inherent to travel. Also the anxieties 